Hey, hey, welcome back to a pretty exciting tutorial today, actually. We're going to be going over 3D rendering. It's one of the updates and releases in uh, After Effects 2017. It uses Cinema 4D. So if you've never heard of that program, I'm going to show you how to get a 3D file into Cinema 4D and bring it back into After Effects. Uh, the cool thing is you can do this right through After Effects. You don't have to use the other program, but you're using it more indirectly. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've got this 3D or text layer that is 3D, but it says 3D rendering. And what we want to do is we want to take this text layer and move it into a Cinema 4D file. So uh, what I'm going to do is click on this and I'm going to go up to File and then export Maxon Cinema 4D exporter. Now before we do this, I want to show you the difference. So back in After Effects 2015, if you were to start a new composition, uh, you would get these basic and advanced tabs here. Uh, if you went to advanced, you get the option between a classic 3D renderer or a ray trace 3D. Well now, in After Effects 2017, you can go up to your composition settings and you can see that there's now a 3D renderer tab. So we have Cinema 4D, Classic, and Ray Trace 3D. So I'm going to use the Cinema 4D, and I'm going to click OK. Now you do have these enabled and disabled, so these are the things you can or cannot use depending on the renderer that you want. So this actually uses the renderer from Cinema 4D uh, to kind of help you know, use your computer a little bit more wisely to have uh, better um, action with your layers and whatever 3D adjustments you're making. So let's go here and go to File, uh, export and Maxon Cinema 4D exporter and I'm going to show you both of these the first one we're going to do is a shape and this is where you cannot edit your text but we're going to go into uh, the update series and 3D rendering engine folder and I'm going to name this uh, 3D render and I'm going to call it no edit and we'll just save that now what you have to do because you're not actually paying for the full version of Cinema 4D you have to actually import it back into After Effects so I'm going to click on this and import and it's going to be a Cinema 4D file. Now I can take this file and drop it right into my composition and then I'm going to disable this 3D rendering one and we have this text here. So we've got this Cineware which is the effect that you can change everything with but what I want to do is go back to my project panel and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to uh, reveal and explore and I want to show you something you can't actually edit this directly in Cinema 4D if you were to have this file and you try to open it it's going to give you this weird error right here um, can't start because your LIB MMD DLL is missing well we're going to have to go around that because we're using Cinema 4D Lite and we're going to go to edit and edit original that's going to open up Cinema 4D Lite and let you make the changes within uh, this program so now we've got this open you can see that if I hover over each letter we've got all these different letters and if I drop this down we've got this 3D rendering uh, text which I can move around or I can click you know just one letter and move it around um, but I can't actually change the text I'd have to go back in the After Effects and export another file and yada 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 well the cool thing about this is you can actually use this like dynamic link so if I make any changes in here I can go back in After Effects and see that but we're gonna do that on the next one so let's leave this open minimize and I'm going to create another 3D uh, Cinema 4D file by going to file export and Max on Cinema 4D and let's see 2D layers found it's just saying I have a 2D layer and it's not going to export that only the 3D layers click OK and then I'm going to choose preserve editable text and then click OK we're going to call this one uh, 3D render and then editable save that we're going to do the same thing we're going to import it in here back into my After Effects project and then what I can do is I can drop this down and we're going to disable or make this one not visible so we can see this. So this is actually a different file. Now if I go back to my project and right click on this, I can see that it's now up in this folder that we saved it in. But what I can also do is go to edit and then edit original and that brings it into Cinema 4D as well. Now I can go up to this window tab and go back between the two files that we have open. If you already have Cinema 4D open, you can go to file and then open and then open that file and it will bring it right in. But you can't open it directly from Windows. It's just a, a licensing issue with uh, Cinema 4D. So here's what's cool with this. I can go in here and click this, drop this down, and I now have this 3D rendering extrude which is a text option and if I go to object I can change this so I'm just going to type change and you can see that it's now edited the text right in Cinema 4D so if I save this just like dynamic link go back to After Effects and it's going to change just like that 
What I can also do is within Cinema 4D, let's just say I want to zoom in a little bit here and save that. I can go back to After Effects and it's going to change that. And here's another cool thing. I can click on the text layer and I'm going to add keyframes within Cinema 4D. So if I put this right here, let's just uh, zoom this way in like this. And I'm going to add a keyframe. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to move this forward in time. I'm going to move this back. And I'm going to add another keyframe. So now I've got this track. And if I move it back, Works just like After Effects where I can play it back and watch the keyframe adjustments. So now if I bring this in like this, we'll go back to the beginning. I'm gonna save it, go back into After Effects. And now if I bring this down, cause this uses a lot of computer resources with the 3D, I can play it back and it's gonna show me the changes that I made in Cinema 4D. Pretty freaking cool. I mean, you can just make the changes in Cinema 4D and come right back in After Effects and see what you did. Um, last thing I want to show you before I end this is if I go over to my effect controls, I do have this renderer option in my settings, which I can change from software, OpenGL, or standard final. So watch the quality here as a standard, if I change the standard final, you're going to see that now I have all the shadows and the lighting is a lot more appropriate and you can see the definition here. So now if I try to play it back, it's going to take even longer because it's a higher quality but it's going to play exactly from where I made the changes in Cinema 4D. So I would go through here and let it play back. I could let it cache and play, or I can just kind of skip through here a little bit to show you where it would actually change on the plane. So that's the 3D rendering effect. This is the last uh, tutorial in the After Effects 2017 update and release series that I wanted to do just to showcase what they've added. Um, if you have any questions or if you wanted me to do something else in another tutorial, please let me know. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time to do that now, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.